guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have League of Lies by Astrid uh, Scolotti. I'm uh, sorry if I can't pronounce that surname, <laughs> I do apologise. So this book was something that I was not unexpectedly wanted. I only got it for the cover by basically. But this book turned out to be a really good book and I didn't think it would. It started out like, oh this is kind of boring. And then it was like, this is happening left, right, centre. I was like, oh my god. I was like, I'm really interested. So, here's the cover. <laughs> And here's the back. In the city of Candero, uh, magic hides in the shadow. Anyone can call, can call for it forth at any time, for any reason, but with consequences. There are, are often catastrophic, even deadly, the use of Edmund. The extra dimensional magic is outlawed. But, so this, this, this agency is basically blaming other people who is using it because they found creatures that are not creatures of this world basically and it was like so confusing from all that and I was like hmm so they're trying basically putting people into prison even though they have done nothing wrong or can't remember why or where they were no one knows better than the 17 year old Kader Bok uh, Brodak who has been succumbed to the, an end of law himself now Kendo is on the straight and narrow and his dream is to become a prosecutor to ensure Endon's abuses are punished to the full extent of the law now I was like hmm Okay, this is about prosecutor stuff. But this, like I said, it turned out to be something completely different. I really enjoyed it. It was really, really fun to read. And I just couldn't stop reading to the next page, next page. It was really interesting to read as well. In the pursuit of his dream, Caden takes on one in a lifetime apprenticeship under a re owned attorney. But when he arrived at the villain Vardin prison, built at the heart of a tier in the dimensions, for where all magic comes, things are no longer, so longer black or white. The criminals he's meant to defend and sister a cause of obliteration of, of her brother's entire existence, a son of murdering his father and a daughter of eliminating a whole town in search of and answers on how her mother died are teenagers like him and their lives are complicated. So all these are like 16, 17 year old kids who are basically getting blamed for different things. So you've got a sister accused of killing a whole town when she can't remember and this bird thing um basically protects her i'll show you a picture of the other uh, monster the, the, the demon thing i think it's one of the pages um there was a princess who apparently killed her own brother the king but obviously um she didn't she got framed and obviously there's a guy who basically he killed his own father stepfather because his own deeds but that's not how it goes so Quaid hasn't expected to be affected by their stories or a question of justice system he once thought had saved him. And he definitely never expected to plot the ultimate jailbreak, risking everything to free them. Too late he realises no one is there to see him and if one sees it or is guilty of ever something. For internally bestseller of author, this was really a twisted tale, rich and all of it villains, magic and danger. This was really, really good to read. Like I said, it was something different. Uh, you got to know these characters more often. They are um, in their different kinds of side of stories as well so there's that so we have this this is the telling government and um, hichari so we have king Imran. apparently he got killed by princess eleanor but no i think the regency basically the one that's against the whole point of thing then here is the first person we have jay Buta. Uh, he's age 18 6 3 peasant place he's suspect of killing dr brut is his father uh, by aging him his hundreds of years so basically and other crimes he had pre pretty a petty theft so 50 years in prison but he basically announced that he basically said that so he was doing petty thefts and then he, as he got attacked by the people saying that he obviously got arrested for petty theft he went oh i by the way i killed my dad as well like out of nowhere here's a picture of the um basically the prison that's some high tech stuff and it's along water so you can't get to know where. And then we have our second person, Lita Bodrock Duck. As yes, this is the main character's system. Um, so she got rested in Ferriton where her mother was last seen and obviously got killed there. Um, she's suspected of using Edmund to spark a wildfire destroying the town of Ferriton and killing hundreds. So she's now in life in prison. But this person who's trying to tell her that she did wrong is basically the person behind it. It's so d bizarre. So she, his brother went into the thing and find that this thing here is what is basically what basically protected her 
from um from saving her basically from this fire and so that's why she was the only one found in this place but the agency basically saw these found that out about these um creatures and tried to basically keep it hidden so they will try and spark fires try and persuade it to other people that they weren't the one who did it these people were our third person is princess elena elena 17 so she was the uh, at the castle and she's suspected of killing the king so she has now life in prison but she wasn't the one because her brother even told her when he was in his dying breath that the agency is the one who's up to it then we have jay's now did another um um another kind of thing so now he's now in the inmate number so for his own name um and it's because um he basically stabbed an inmate and stuff like that so we get some more another criminal record with Jay again, and obviously, uh, sorry, um, the princess has now got an inmate number instead. So she has no life in prison. She's basically, basically, no jury is allowed to go to her. She's life in prison, no trial, no parole, I have to think anything like that. So she doesn't get a trial. They just went, that's it. You're the king's daughter, uh, sister. We don't care. You're basically going straight to prison with no trial, no nothing. You're going to suffer. So that person could basically come get in. Then getting close to the end, this is the whole more more detailed of what these stuff looks like on what everything is. And I was like, oh my god, this is really interesting. So this is where the part where they're actually um Kandai is trying to think of how to basically go into the prison, break into the prison and break the three characters out to save them from what is going on. Because they found out more tragic things. You destroyed my life, you ruined my family, and you should never go free. So basically that was the last thing I put on there because um, I feel like there's going to be a second book of this because the way it ended, they escaped, well they barely escaped and the person that's going to be ending this road is the person who basically betrayed them and they're going to get that back, they're going to make sure they fight for the, what they what is right. I was like yes so I'm actually really looking forward to seeing what this author also brings out, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you next time, peace, bye.